Hello again, Internet. How are you doing today? Welcome to another episode of Renegades React. Uh, we're, we're, we're in a bit of a downturn right now because we just witnessed um, a uh, certain video, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared 5. And weirded us out. And I'm trying to, I've been trying to think of something that would uplift the boys to, uh, to be happy and cheery. So I discovered a certain project on Kickstarter a few days ago. And I've been waiting to see what you all think of it. Oh, no. This last thing was kick-started. I'm not... <laughs> Here we go. Gentlemen. What? Friday the, the 13th, 13th, the game. What? I'm... Yes. You heard that right. Yes. You heard that correctly, gentlemen. And this is the promo video. Is that Adam Sessler? Yep. Adam Sessler, he's one of the he's still main alive. backers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Wow, he's still alive. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah, so here he is talking about this game and interviewing a lot of people involved with it. All so, right, okay. All right. Let's go with this. Here we go. All right, three, four. Hello there. I'm Adam Sessler, and I'm here to tell you about it's a game Adam. that I think is one of the most brilliant ideas I've ever heard. I was approached recently by the gentleman at Gun Media and told about a Friday the 13th game that is an asymmetric multiplayer game where one person plays Jason and everyone else plays counselors trying oh, to make it man. through the night. Good. This is one of those ideas Good. that's so brilliant, I have to see it happen. All right. We've been kindly okay. invited to the house of Sean S. Cunningham, the director of the original Friday the 13th movie and the owner of the license. We've assembled oh. the team that is making the game and some of the talent that was behind the movies who are also going to be working on the game as well. We're going to go out back, okay. have All a barbecue, right. make this video to make you understand that we would love for you this to is be gonna a end badly. and make sure that and I'm this excited. game becomes a reality. Aren't they, uh, isn't there like a funding campaign for a Ruby game? That would yep, be terrible. Oh, wait, no, it, yeah, it's after Project Greenlight. Friday the 13th. It's already Project Green and Project Greenlight. And I'm Wes Keller, yeah. co-creator of Matt Damon and Bat Flick. And we are super excited to be here today because you no. have the opportunity or, to no, not Ruby. only it's on bring Friday the 13th to life, but bring Jason back. Oh, they used to. They That series ended after like three seasons, I think. Oh, did it? Tom Savini, the man. To help Be scared people, right? yeah. Jason in yeah. your house. Creatively kill people, like okay? Do. Creatively kill teenagers in the woods with household implements. Okay, it's a living, but you know somebody. <laughs> it's a living. <laughs> Thank you, Tom Savini. <laughs> Jason, you know? It's a living, and that's exciting because I have. That was always the funniest bit from the, the you know? Flintstones. Just people like, like say, there's a million ways a you can slice the throat, but only one it's right only way, my favorite. and that's Savini's way. Kane Hodder. The man who played Jason longer than anybody. All right, okay. You know, I always felt it was a huge honor to put that hockey mask on. I always felt that. I always <laughs> he looks felt terrified. That. Of course he's terrified. <laughs> when <laughs> Potter could tear justice. him to pieces. Yeah. Jason is the driving force. He played of the Jason game. ever since Every uh, oh, wow. Jason Six. He is Jason the dispersal lives. agent. Up like until Jason. Counselors are getting together and they're trying so to there team up and they're trying to. To, to throw Jason off, like Jason gets in there, breaks up the plan, everybody goes running, and everything is. Was Freddy versus Jason before or after X? Uh, it was have after that X. Represented it was Ken Kersinger by the guy who, that actually did it actually and actually achieved all those results is amazing. Sean S. Kennedy. All right, the gave him gave him the license. All right, for games for twenty years and. Uh, All right. There was, there was never a, a particularly good idea. As luck would have it, <laughs> we pulled it together, and here we are. Ready, ha uh, Harry Man, Freddy. Yes. All right. Man, Freddy. Yes. That sound guy is awesome composer. Thirteenth film. I mean, it's, it's about as iconic as iconic gets. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. It's another yeah. nickel for me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's another nickel There's for a touch that you Frenini. have that you know, even other horror composers at the exact same time with similar in instruments didn't have that. And then I would take that seventh and, and open it, keep, keep repeating it. Oh, wow. And then all right. a little tinkle on and listen. it. You see, it all literally yeah. comes off it, it's of... Because like it, it just sounds yeah, so yeah, long. I remember that score so much. Yeah. That score was freaking awesome. This game started as Slasher yeah. Volume 1, Summer Camp. <clears throat> On a warm June night in 1984, a group of teen That was the original trailer the for it. I, 
Oh, I remember, I remember them talking about what this. What was that game? How did you get drawn to it? And then we can talk about, you know, this wonderful transition to what it really was honoring, which was Friday the 13th. I mean, we never dreamed that <coughs> the license would, would come to us the way it did. We sort of assumed that we would have made Slasher Volume 1 Summer Camp uh, as this sort of homage. And then maybe later somebody would, you know, give us a call, some Hollywood person or something. But we really weren't banking on that. It was just, let's make the, the guys mustache Slasher experience. It's, it's really great. It's like a, it's like a conquistador mustache. How was this oh, that, that, going that, to be that killer right there was Yeah, I'm honestly going to say. It was the two this on top description of one another, and then... that made me so stupid excited. That's why I'm sitting here talking to you guys right now. We are going to plan to try to do some single player stuff if we mm -hmm. hit a stretch goal. Right. But at its core, it is a multiplayer only game. One All player right. takes on the role of Jason. The other ones take on the role of camp counselor. So up to seven people. Seven v one. Seven v one at the max. Yes. Sure. Which seven v one. Actually, eight eight players. Be seven. We're yeah. not going to stand. That's very, very true. <laughs> one yeah. versus seven. So really. Yeah. It's, yeah. It just it's makes Jason. Sense. Yeah. Right. You're basically starting when the uh, proverbial shit hits the fan. Okay. Yep. Jason's there, you're running. What are you gonna do? Wow. And on the flip side, Jason had to have the right tools to hunt everyone down. Just like mm -hmm. in the film, sound is very important from little yeah. twigs snapping to whenever wow, you that looks really open good. that cabin door. It's built in Unreal 4, dude. Unreal, like the Unreal thinking, 4, okay, 4 engine, engine, which just got right. released last year. But I'm All right. pretty sure there's Thank, something good and in it here looks that amazing. I need. But, and then the <laughs> window burst, and Jason comes but in, Jason you're like, could be oh, in there, God. Or he could be behind you, because you're opening the door slowly. On one level, it's 1v7. Right. But, really, but it's also 1v1v1v1v1v1. Yeah. One 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 yeah. That it's cooperative and treacherous all at the same time. That's yeah. really cool. We want the pacing and everything to feel like you're playing, to some regard, a single player survival horror game. So we'll get this on the Mod Father so and have like a Bruce Campbell Ash mod. No, we need to have, oh gosh. It's, yeah, it's Bruce Campbell okay is Ash, and the, the Deadites are trying to escape. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Little tiny I'd love worm that. I'd love that. Against a gigantic eagle, and I know I'm I'm helpless. My goal is to just survive. And when you heard it here first, one, internet. Yeah. I want like, it. I can work with people, but I don't have to. At the end of the you day, know, my I, goal yeah, is to straight up is survive at all costs. What would you guys say is kind of the feature of the game, or the part of the game where you went, yeah? This is awesome. Like the, we, uh -huh. we, we are really on yeah, this yeah. When I was having fun playing a counselor, that was the click moment of, okay. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, because that's the problem you always have with asymmetrical games. Everyone wants to play Jason, right? Yeah. And um, we knew our biggest challenge was going to be playing a counselor, but as soon as that was awesome, and I had a great yeah, time then you're playing a counselor, that's when yeah, I Yeah, because when you make like, it fun okay, on all fronts. Yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah it, know, that's like when the it. The boat, for example, when we're testing, it, yeah. it holds two people currently. There's just two seats. <laughs> in escape. But everyone's trying to fix the room for two. So people, everyone's bringing so. parts and like trying to get this thing going. And you know, here comes you know Jason. He's like walking towards the dock. You're getting the last piece on. Here comes you know your buddy's trying to get to the <laughs> There's dock. There's a, a like, mutator hey, for uh, <laughs> you. Jump in the boat and take off. Dead too, and now he's left. Which like, is yeah. last he man standing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and it's like it's co-op right up until the very end. Only one person can escape. Yeah, honors. The yeah, archetypes that, that that were always absolutely. throughout the movie, yeah. which awesome is really cool, is, especially um, since so other people can play the bad guy, guy, so to speak. Yeah, you may be better at fixing cars or repairing the phone line that you need. And to you call see, the each character mm -hmm. archetype um, is the jock have... may be a little stronger, maybe have a, a better melee right. attack. And then we'll have the hero girl, of course. So yeah. she may be able to kill Jason mm -hmm. more frequently mm -hmm. because everyone loves the hero girl and the girl next door. You know, mm -hmm. we don't know how you're going to play as a as a human. We don't the know what you're going to do, what you're going to want to do. We just need to play the edgy guy. The edgy guy. Don't make your own mistakes or to play your own way. All right. I've heard tales that even at this early stage, there are some play tests that have resulted in just screaming. Oh my God! That yes. Like, the, like you guys really, even even now, have perfected that sense of tension. It, you know, it was so essential for a game like this. And, and I yeah. have to ask you: Do you think you could have affected that reaction similarly? Had you had to invent your own killer exactly. rather than using something as iconic as Jason? Way Boy harder. Is. It doesn't bring <laughs> the horror. Because Jason's established. I mean, that's he's true. one of the, one of the horror added, icons. Added, he's a brand. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he is a brand. But that like, also means that they have to live up to a certain. They have to live up to a certain mythos. You're gone. You're out of there. That's true. I went camping one time and I watched like Friday the Thirteenth Part Three. Why would you do that? What was it that you saw in that that just? It was like the first time you had the hockey. Where the Friday the Thirteenth. 
I, I went out and went camping, and I heard like twigs out in the woods, and I swear I thought I saw a hockey mask. I was like, I went, I I ran to the, I ran over to my dad. I was like, Dad, Dad. had hoped was going to be included in a Friday the 13th game. It involves so good participation, and yeah, it took. I'm glad they're taking this serious. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad they're taking this serious. Love the guy's shirt too. It's a good shirt. It's all the four horror icons. It's the four big, right? The four big baddies of horror. But Freddy, of course, Jason, can bring with it a lot more responsibility to honor the license, which will incur not, more not expenses. Shrek. On your part. No question. Not I mean, there's, <laughs> it, it's yeah. the fact that before when we were at summer camp, we were sort of already <laughs> that needs to be an edit. Like baby, Mike you know, Myers like, breaks through, through the glass, that, through the glass in the house. We were Don't get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to do because we knew that would <laughs> breaking into the race of my brows. What are you doing in my swamp? We were like, hey, we get. I think you already showed me that horror movie. That is bigger and that costs more money. Oh. And because of the additional responsibility of how big that license is and what fans come to expect, we want to make sure that we deliver that and then some. So to do that the right way, we need a couple more bucks than what we already have. Like, we're pretty good and we can still make something that's pretty damn fun, but we want to go like face meltingly awesome. And all right, to okay. get to that, I think right. Sean Cunningham likes that idea. Yeah. Friday the 13th, the game. That does look pretty cool. I'm yeah. okay with this. The the asymmetrical multiplayer is what is so intriguing to me. Yeah. It's fascinating. Yeah, it is. And, and you see, look at this. It's been active for three days, $416,000. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And, and they're that, moving. Yeah, they're moving. Wait, and well, also, check this out down here. Uh, the big the big goals, right? The big, uh, big ones down here. Uh, they got stretch goals here, uh, but they haven't revealed them yet. Oh, wow. And they have a lot of them. Uh, it's just like anything that does a stretch goal, but uh, and that and you see, there's all sorts of other goals on here. You know, the launch party. You get you get to attend the launch party. You oh, get wow. uh, you get horror icon dinner. You get to sit down with Sean Cunningham. They, Tom they Savini, will, they Kane will give Hunter. you a physical copy of the game signed by all of those people. <laughs> yes. Well, that's actually up here. So what's the that's grand total? Really their cool. their goal? Oh, uh, their goal to Seven, make the game is seven hundred k. Yeah. Okay. Seven hundred k. But their stretch goals for like a million to. I right. saw stretch. Scroll back down. It looked like four point five million is what the top one looked like. Let's see. Yeah, four and a half. Yeah. Four four and a half. Yeah. So once you know these stretch stretch goals here, they're they're going to reveal them once they hit them. Yeah. Once they hit like this right here. Boom! They'll reveal this one. It's like, oh, oh, I want that to happen, and more people will be in, enticed yeah. to da- to uh, to uh, yeah. donate. Which I've already donated towards this. I donated the uh, I donated the. Uh, <laughs> let's see, where is it out of here? I donated the five dollars right here. All right. Which uh, yeah, I've got I've got the I'm gonna get this uh, in November. The stuff that has All been right. asked here, but I want to probably donate again. I want yeah, to probably you can donate your, again. You can up your donation. And uh, Early Bird Digital Camper, Ooh. Digital Camper, uh, First to Die Pack. Ooh, that one's that's $40. And then Killer Digital Art Pack. And you see, Friends Till the End 2 Pack. You see, there's all sorts of there's all sorts of uh, wow. different perks on here. And I and I absolutely mm. love it because it's just, you see, you see how serious they're taking Oh, this. yeah. And... <laughs> This is going to be fascinating. Yeah, and I can't wait to see what they're going to do with it. So, guys, donate to it if you're interested in this. I know we're interested in it. Yeah. And which I've already donated. I may donate again because I want to play this game when it comes out. Oh yeah. I may do the uh, I may do the uh, first to die pack, which uh, which has uh, exclusive beta access on the PC, mm-hmm. which I'd love to be part of. Not to mention in-game credit under the. Yeah. Thanks. Oh. Yeah. Digital for, for the faction up there. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh. And here's the and here's the thing right here too. Digital download key on either PC, Xbox One, or PS4. All right. Hmm. So which do you think we should go for? PC. Ooh. See, PCs. PCs good. Um, I mean, you guys did just kind of finish building one. Yeah. yeah. We, and yeah. We'll, we'll have it working by then. Easy. Yeah. It'll Bit be by, fully armed yeah, and operational. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not operational just yet, but yeah, give, we'll, it time. Yeah. By give it then, time. By then, by then, it'll by be then it will be. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yes. So, yeah. All this, right. This game looks awesome. Check it out, guys. There will be a, There's a link uh, down below to the Kickstarter page. Uh, check it out. Also, uh, also uh, give us a like on here if you like what like what we're presenting in here. I mean, I think we're all excited for this. You all should oh, be yeah. too. I mean, it's really cool. Yeah, it's really really cool. And uh, well, I'd say that's gonna do it for this episode of Renegades React. 
I think that kind of pulled us out of our funk. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling got us excited. Got us excited for a for a good good game that's coming out. Nothing like a game about a serial killer to get you hyped, right? <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Uh, that's Man. true. That's true. <laughs> All right. So until next time, guys, we will see you later. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.